My name is James Williams Jr. This is Comfort Forever number two, and this is the last video I intend on making. Don't mean it's the last video, but it's the last video I intend on making before I go to class or before the night falls. I'm going to say this, and you guys are going to take this with a grain of salt, or you're going to take it for what it's worth. True value. This is 100% truth right here. This is 99.9 .9 plus 5. Success can be taught. It can be taught. Failure cannot be taught. And you don't learn from success. You learn from failure so that you can be successful. I have failed miserably at this whole YouTube thing. I have learned this the hard way for however long my channel's been up. Alright, so since 2010... 2011, whenever the hell I started this shit, maybe further back. I have failed on this the same way I have failed on Facebook and MySpace, okay? So social media star, may that happen. The thing that I've learned, though, is that I'm not promoting myself right. So I'm going to be getting an Instagram and a Twitter, and they're all going to be connected as soon as I figure out how to get to them from the computer. Because my phone is tripping, so I can't really use my phone. Okay, it makes phone calls though. For anybody watching, it still makes phone calls. Yeah, which is a good thing. It still does make phone calls. Uh, something wrong with the memory. I don't know how to fix it. That kind of thing. I'm not a tech person. And I don't have money for a new phone. I need a new phone. So if I start saving up now, probably by my birthday, I'll be able to get another phone. All right, unless I can find a really good uh, Samsung phone at Best Buy again, like I had to do with this one. So, leaving that to the side. We learn more from our failures than our success. Failure cannot be taught. If you are a failure, it's just a process. Success can be taught. Now, how you stay successful will determine how you live the rest of your life. A lot of actors, they are successful for a long time, and then they go broke for doing stupid shit or not paying attention or they get addicted to drugs and shit. But we ain't got to worry about that because I know my weaknesses which is basically just Asian women. Outside of that, you know, I don't really have any weaknesses other than the kick to the nuts. Now, learning from your failures improves your success. So I'm learning that I need to promote more. I'm also learning that the channel is called Kung Fu Having, and for the better part of the last three years, all you've seen is my ass talk. Well, my other Mac, I need to get some adjustments made so that I can get on a hard drive and then get everything hooked to whatever the hell else I need. So I'm going to make some phone calls on that. Hopefully the person that I'm calling is going to answer and can find me what I need. Then I'm going to be more successful. I'm James Williams Jr. and here's the thing about success. Success and your success are different. We all have different measures of success. The fact that one person has watched my videos is success to me because I have 47 to 51 followers and some of you are watching, some of you are not. So I make a suggestion. In my videos, there's comments. Maybe you're to comment and let me know what you want to see and if it's within my physicality, then I'll do it. The only thing that is limited right now is Wushu. I can no longer do Wushu. That is a very high risk martial art that I'm not allowed to do. I'm allowed to jog. I'm allowed to do push-ups and all the other stuff, but I'm not allowed to do Wushu at all. And Wushu was some of the bases of some of my best moves were based out of Wushu. So since I'm not allowed to do that, I want you guys to leave comments and let me know what you want to see. You want to see more nunchuck specialties, I can do that. I don't have to give you a history lesson, just show off with the nunchucks. You want to see me work the chain, I can do that. But the thing is, no matter what I do, nothing has gone viral. So what do I do? Do I quit and give up? Yes, I want to quit and give up. There's not a day that goes by that little bug in the back of my head isn't saying, hey dude, it's not happening. You need to quit. You need to quit. You need to quit. I fight that fight every day. Every day. And I don't believe in quitting because part of my warrior ethos, because I was in the army, I didn't get to serve the way I wanted to, but I was definitely in the army. One of the warrior ethos is I will always put the mission first. I will never quit. I will never accept defeat. I will never leave a fallen comrade. All right. So since I can't accept defeat and I will never quit, 
it is my means of success to keep going until I die. Now, one of my idols, the main idol, Bruce Lee, didn't really find true success until after he died. His kids, on the other hand, found major success. I don't have kids. I'm 45 years old. I may never have kids because I'm getting older and I just don't trust women anymore because I'm not really trying to get my heart broke ever the fuck again. That's a story for another day. When it comes down to these things, you know, success is what you make it. So if I get one video that goes viral and I never work again, that's fine. But like I said, before I die, I want to make one really good movie. And then if I die and I never find success, hey, so be it. You know, I can accept that because I died trying. You don't fail initially unless you don't try. All right. Now, I'm going to explain that while we're here. This video is at the six minute mark. I'm going to try to keep it under 12. Don't believe that. Y'all know I run off. I have gone to every casting call that has ever come through Charlottesville, Virginia. I've gone through at least two or three in Richmond. And every time, I've gotten the same shit. You're not a bad looking man, James, but um, you're not what we're looking for. I've cut my hair off for a role in uh, Major Pain. Never got the role. Almost got to go fisticuffs with an actor there. And, you know, I boycotted the movie. I don't have anything personal against Damon Wayans. But the casting director made me shave off my heritage, which the closest thing I have to my Native American heritage is my hair. You know, and um, my high cheekbones. And maybe my slightly slanted eyes. But, you know, I wanted this. Back then, I didn't want it. I was just going to check it out. You know, guy told me, if you go shave your head, ball, I'll give you a roll as an extra in the show. Extras don't get paid. But if it's enough to get my face out there, I was more than willing to do it. So that didn't happen. Went on with my life. Then things in my life went from good to bad to bad to worse. And it never stopped going from bad to worse from there. People in my life have fucked me out of my life many a times. Y'all know who you are. Not going to put you on blast. You know. And no one really gave a damn. And they still don't give a damn. And they're still fucking me out of my life. And they're doing it on purpose because they don't give a damn. Because when you're selfish and you don't care about your family, you only care about yourself, you pretty much get what you allow people to do to you. And I have allowed it and I'm done. I will never be successful as long as I keep helping other people and not helping myself. Alright? So if you're watching and your family, that's for you. And yes, that's a personal stab. The thing, the thing with these casting calls, everyone I've been to, and every movie that's ever come out, there are no people like me. There are no people like me. Okay, so Days of Our Lives has entered the biracial stage. Uh, Lexi Carver was just the daughter of Stefano, and the lady that played her was a little darker than me, but biracial. Uh, the chick that's playing, uh, Abe's daughter was in an interracial relationship and she had a baby by another dude who was also biracial and the baby didn't make it. All right, that's just a prime example. But there are no biracial people in movies about biracial people. And this is not directed at The Rock. The Rock gets all the roles and they're jumping down this shit about wanting to play John Henry because he's half Samoan. When do we draw the line? We draw the line right here. My next video will break down more about this shit. Alright? So yes, there will be another video. Sorry. I got on this track, so now I have to get on the track.